nothing like a deck of cards like I don't think there's anything like it <laughs> it's just hello welcome back to my channel my name is Lauren if you are new here thank you for being here and pretty much today this video is going to consist of talking about tarot cards and specifically my favorite tarot cards that I have in my collection, why I like them, my reason for getting them when I first felt called to get whatever particular deck, and pretty much just my two cents about tarot and how to use tarot in a constructive and healthy way. And yeah, so I'm pretty excited today to talk about this because a video idea came to me the other day and I was just kind of like... <laughs> so this idea came to me the other day and oh, this is a great idea. Like, I pretty much really love tarot for the artwork. Like I'm really attracted to tarot cards, I think because of just being able to connect with the imagery on the cards. So that is the reason why I really, really like using tarot cards as a tool. Now I know that, well, have a they have their own opinions on tarot and that is completely fine just like anything else in life and any tool that we use it can definitely be misused and in any practice you know there is good and bad so it's important to keep that in mind and to use your cards and your spiritual tools in a constructive and healthy way and not use it in a way that is harmful to others. When I first got into tarot, I was actually introduced to it from a friend that I was living with during the time and they just happened to be a very spiritual being and they gave me a tarot card reading and I was kind of intrigued and was just like, oh, this is kind of cool. And it took a while, say probably two years before I actually got my own deck. Or, or I would say a year and a half or a year and a half to two years before I actually got my own set of cards and started reading for myself. Another reason why I'm making this video is I highly recommend to anyone who is just wanting any information on their life or just needing some form of guidance to read for themselves. Read for yourself. Very important if you are a spiritual person that you don't depend on other people too much to give you the guidance that you need in life. I'm also speaking to myself because I love to watch people on YouTube who read tarot and sometimes just to get confirmation of what I already know um, intuitively and also from just reading for myself. But sometimes that can, like, there was a time in my life where I was literally not getting out of bed and consistently watching tarot videos and it was super unhealthy and it drained the life out of me and I don't want anyone to get to that point or ever have to do that or ever feel like they have to do that so definitely i highly recommend just getting into your own form of reading for yourself and connecting with your own deck it's a great experience to have to be able to connect with your guides and your ancestors in that way and your spirit team in that way so that's why I'm here and that is why I'm talking about tarot cards today. So my first deck that I ever got was the Hermetic Tarot deck, which is in black and white. And I will probably post a photo of the actual deck somewhere here just so that you can see 
um, cover and all of that jazz. But this is pretty much the back of the deck and these are the cards. Super beautiful imagery. Every card is in black and white which was super helpful to me when I started reading for myself because you don't notice how much the imagery that has colors and just all of the extra stuff can kind of deter you from what the cards are actually trying to say or what the message is. So I'm really grateful that I was guided to this deck first because it really helped me Oh, there's the Empress. It really helped me really understand what I was reading. And I will say that literally I didn't start understanding, like truly, truly understanding what my readings were telling me until like probably this year, last year. Like if I'm being honest, it took me a while to really memorize uh, also the, the meanings of the cards and also like kind of I mean, when you read cards, you will always come up with your own interpretations of what certain court cards mean to you. Just as you see the cards consistently, whatever you're reading, whatever the question is, you will start to be like, oh, when I see Six of Swords is earned success. So you'll always come up with your own interpretations. So um, that's another beautiful thing about reading for yourself so definitely would recommend the hermetic tarot especially if you are new to tarot and you just want a deck to connect with very cool fun story about this deck i actually slept with it like just because <laughs> i was listening to a reader and they were saying you know like if you want to connect with your deck more, sleep with it under your pillow. So one night I actually had given myself a reading and then it kind of naturally happened where I like had the cards next to my pillow as I went to sleep and the dream that I had was insane. I pretty much felt like I was floating above a large body of water and I pretty much saw a snake devouring a, a holy man, a holy, a mammoth. <laughs> and um, it was just kind of crazy to me. And um, I literally woke up and was like, that was probably one of the coolest, most insane dreams I have ever experienced. Like, of it. The hell just happened so yeah this is the hermetic tarot and it's also great to learn more about signs and symbolism uh, the black and white just is it's beautiful and it's so much easier to connect with uh the afro brazilian tarot deck We'll insert it somewhere here. And this was the second deck that I added to my collection. And uh, actually, I'm fibbing. This was probably like the third deck I added to my collection. Uh, I got this deck in New York, so it's really special to me. Because I wasn't really expecting to get a tarot deck when I went to this particular store. And I just happened to literally gravitate towards it. And I was like, oh, this is cool. I actually had left the store and what and didn't get anything left empty handed and then went back and got this deck. So I really love this deck. I've used it so much. Hermetic and this deck are probably my most used decks. Um, literally just sat with them both so many times and just constantly like asked questions <laughs> like I always go back to these two decks if I'm stumbled and I really really like need an answer I know for sure that my guides and my spirit team will for sure come through these decks and make it clear for me whatever I am hung up on so this deck is honestly beautiful it reminds me of the Orishas and I'm pretty sure that's like what the imagery is connected to. Just super beautiful colors. I believe it's watercolor if I'm not mistaken. 
and it's really cool when you pull a spread and the colors coincide together and it just makes it super easy to read because the colors kind of flow and you can kind of grasp the energy of the reading based off of the colors of the cards like say you pull the king of cups and then you pull other cards that have this same kind of color theme then you can kind of catch a idea of the energy that you're reading so beautiful deck highly recommend if you resonate with afro-brazilian culture the orishas i would definitely 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 recommend this deck oh i actually needed to make a correction it's me of the orishas but it actually says that it is uh the divinities of santeria so yes correction okay so the third deck is a oracle and i stumbled across this online through a shop i was looking for a new oracle deck and then this one came to the forefront it is called the anubis oracle and um I was like, ooh, it's taken me a while to get into the comedics and Egyptian divinities. I just, I have a lot of respect for the Egyptian divinity. I wanted to make sure that I actually felt called to it before just jumping into claiming it as something that I resonated with, you know? I think that's important with anything and any divinity tool is to make sure that it actually resonates with you and that you, know, you will actually connect with whatever tool that you're using. For example, for instance, I actually, I stumbled across a New Orleans deck and I was like, ooh, like I wanna get this, you know, like, because I love New Orleans and I've never been and I just, I was like, ooh, maybe this will be a cool deck to have. And a little voice in my head was like, no. And I was like, oh, okay, um, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> and, you know, maybe just like the time isn't, the time wasn't right then, or, you know, I just, it doesn't resonate with me or I don't really know I didn't um I didn't ask I didn't second guess I just was like okay no I don't need it <laughs> not right now at least so that's how I feel about certain divinity tools and decks I I just like really want to make sure that I resonate with um the culture and that um I will be able to connect with it essentially so this, i was kind of sad that it was really small um or maybe it just seems kind of small because the cards are super thin um, but i really love this deck it's super straight to the point um like you have pretty much the meaning of the card below here and then you have the imagery and then the numbers so I really connect with numerology especially when I'm reading love when I can see angel numbers when I'm pulling a spread and I have it out and I see like 333 or 222 or a number that I really resonate with during the time like it just is extra confirmation for me and just lets me know that the message is truly for me it's just simple and it and it's very easy to read. So if you also are wanting to get into Egyptian divinities and you or just comedics and you want to connect more, I I recommend this deck. Like if you're feeling really called to tap more into that, this deck is a great a great tool to just connect, especially with the deities and yeah and also kind of figure out if you feel called to specific deities and you want to know like which one is your 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 mom or your dad this this will definitely 
assist with that. So yeah, this is the Anubis Oracle. Definitely. Okay. I got a phone call and it made me really happy, honestly. So I'm glad I got that call and it kind of interrupted. Um, so this deck is called the Osho Tarot. I will put it somewhere here. The Osho Oracle. I can't really remember. But I got this deck when I was going through a very hard time, actually, during this pandemic, I would say in May, 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 May through July, really hard time for me. Um, I'm not going to get into it. It was just a hard time. And I got this deck towards the end of that transformational time. This is the deck that actually really, really helped me hone in on my tarot reading ability it helped me like solidify like okay this is what I'm getting from the reading super straight to the point and this is one of my favorite favorite cards uh, so it's super straight to the point and it also comes with a booklet and okay it's the Osho Zen Tarot yes uh, it comes with this booklet that literally just goes into depth about what the card is about. It's a really nice book. Also in the back, it goes even more into depth about what certain symbolism in the cards mean, such as like, you know, you can see here like uh, clouds, colors, like it literally <coughs> breaks down what certain symbol symbolism means in the cards which makes it that much easier to read what your message is this is another one of my favorite cards in this deck i picked this up from a shop that actually was walking distance from where i was staying um at my last living place before moving to where i am now and that shop just felt I felt so connected to it and I felt like it was a very divine experience living in that area and just being able to go to that shop when I needed to. So shout out to them. It's a little more modern, <laughs> I would say, and I, I love that. Uh, I have nothing against that. Really beautiful imagery. If you are looking for a deck that is easy to read you know you're this is another deck i would definitely recommend if you are new to tarot and you're kind of on the fence about even whether or not tarot really resonates with you like you know if you feel like uh tarot is kind of dark or whatever you feel or whatever ideas you have about tarot in your head and you're just kind of like i don't really know if i want to experiment i would say this deck is really easy to connect with it's it feels good and if you know if you're on the fence i would say this deck is just a great a great one to connect with and feel good about and it's super easy to read you don't need to know normal tarot where you have like the queen of wands the empress that all have specific meanings these cards have specific meanings too but it's much easier because patience, what does patience mean? Waiting, um, tuning in. What does tuning in mean? Tuning into yourself. Like it's very straight to the point and the imagery also really helps as well. If you're wanting a card, okay. If you're wanting a deck that helps clarify your tarot deck, this is, I love using this when I am reading specific spreads where I'm like uh I don't know what this is saying I love to clarify with this deck so yeah the Osho Zen Tarot definitely check it out if you're wanting to get into it. okay so last but not least we have the Native American Tarot I recently got this deck and I actually was at a shop once i wanted to get this deck and i went with a friend and they had told me um before going they were like this shop has an interesting energy like you'll see when we go but 
yeah, it just has an interesting energy. You know, maybe, I didn't think anything of it. So we went into the shop and I actually started to hear things while we were in the shop and I was like, okay. And you know, I still didn't really think anything of it. I to look around and I found this deck and I was like, ooh, like I really want it. it. Wasn't a necessity at the time, like it was just something that I wanted to spend my money on. My card actually ended up declining and I wasn't able to get the deck. Anytime something like that happens, especially when it's a spiritual shop, like I'm always like, okay, maybe it wasn't meant to be. There is something that I need to learn in this situation. Like I always kind of try to figure out what it's trying to tell me. Oh so, yeah now we're like down the line i got this deck i would say a few weeks ago Shop that i go to pretty often happened to have it and i was like oh my gosh like i've been wanting this deck after i couldn't get it that one time i hadn't really looked into getting it again i was just like oh maybe maybe i don't really resonate with native american ancestry like i thought i did not for me but then it showed up again and i was just like okay this is for me entry is like gorgeous i i love it cards and you pull a spread it really tells a story i really love that about this deck really any deck that seems to have been done with watercolor i just really love because i love that that medium and that art form why I feel like I connect with tarot because I love art and I love to have a spiritual tool that I can connect with imagery and kind of get something back from that there's no dark reason for why I like tarot I just love it because of the artwork and because I can tap into what my ancestors and my spirit guides want to tell me during the time or if I'm just kind of struggling with something at the time and I need some extra insight the temperance if you know what the temperance means like yes I just love these cards are so beautiful I get so much from them I have an inkling that you have Native American ancestry I would definitely recommend connecting to this deck I think you would really love it that was my four favorite decks and I don't think I mentioned this in the beginning but I also wanted to cater to those people who may not really want to spend the money on tarot decks at the moment or not really feeling called to get a tarot deck. There is always a way to connect spiritually. Answers that you are looking for, if you know, they're always there within us before anything else we are our greatest tool or our greatest guide <laughs> should i say i wanted to show you guys how you can make your own very easy cards that have whatever you want to put on them all you need is post notes i recommend post notes or very small index flash cards write out whatever it is and you can fold them up for myself the other day what you need is a cup notes i created probably i would say around 24 25 going as long as you want and pretty much what you're gonna do when you're writing down these things is you're pretty much channeling feeling messages from in <clears throat> your intuitive mind and you're writing things down and when you fold the pieces of paper up and you know you either shake it like i love to shake these and then see what comes out this and see you know pick whenever you feel like okay i'm you know i'm ready to pull what you want is coming very soon so this is pretty much an affirmation having trouble feeling confident or just feeling like what you're trying to manifest is is actually working write those affirmations down and when you pull them it really helps to kind of give you that extra like boost of like okay yes i am on the right track try to like 
put good and bad like oh you need to work on this a little bit more like sometimes I'll do pray more because I <laughs> know I need to do that but I'm like okay do I really need to do that more yes flashcard deck pool whatever you want to call it whatever makes you feel comfortable so I wanted to share that with anyone who you know is kind of not too sure if they want to dive into um, tarot and I hope that it helps and I hope that you try it out um, I hope you also really enjoyed this video and that it was helpful and informative in some way for you thank you so much for watching and <clears throat> liking and please make sure to like and subscribe i feel weird saying that seeking out our instagram as well as our etsy that i'll probably put somewhere in here um i just wanted to come in and plug that in so if you did enjoy the video and you want to subscribe please do so um thank you so much and